a lot of times people will say thank you for your service and I'll say well thank you for giving me a country that was worth serving. Hi, I'm Brian English. I'm the commander of the Charles S. Hedge Post 79. <laughs> Veterans come from all walks of life. We're all different. We all have different likes and dislikes. I'm a pilot. Love to paint, draw. Into role playing games and music. I love to garden. I used to do probably most of the cooking. So these are local eggs from a friend of mine, a veteran buddy. The uh, tomatoes and bell peppers are from my garden. And uh, when I grew up, I did garden a lot. I grew a lot of food for the family. My dad was a first sergeant in World War II. My mom, she wouldn't marry him until he made staff sergeant. I was 17 to get out of the house. You know, of course, I went in the Marine Corps. I didn't go in the Army Air Corps. My dad was Army Air Corps. When I got in the Marine Corps, we moved up to New England because I was able to find work up here. We found this place. It was, wasn't even on the market. And so we bought it. And and then all of a sudden, you can start to hear the birds, you can start to hear the woods and hear the music of the woods themselves. I am a nurse. I worked at the VA clinic for about five and a half more months and retiring. So I'm actually dealing with veterans all the time. And one of the things that I really push for is the destigmatization of post traumatic stress. We would never tell somebody who's blind, well, it's all in your eyes, just get over it. But we tell people it's all in your head all the time. I'm still not, I still do it. I feel it talking about it right now. I, mean, it, it, it's, I can feel those emotions start like, you know, because they're still real. Sometimes I'll wake up, and one of the hardest things that I deal with is resentment over the fact that I have to work at trying to feel normal. You know, I know XYZ thing that I can do, but sometimes I resent having to do that. Having to do what I do just to quote unquote be normal. Let's walk a little bit. I had a guy tell me one time, I said, Brian, I've known people who quote the Bible and I've known people who quote Monty Python, but you're the only guy I know who can quote both. If you can push a dagger through plate armor, then why in the heck are you wearing the stuff? Yes, you can get in between the joints, but these people stabbing people in plate armor, it doesn't work, folks. He might be passionate about this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Role-playing games and stuff, I, I do that. Um, he can hold a torch in his shield arm. Oh, yeah. Basically, you're getting to act out roles, and being the game master, I get to play all the roles. It's like make believe. He liked Long Young's Frankenstein when he like leaves on the tower. Three, two, one. One of the things that I'm so happy that we've done at the American Legion here in Berwick. We assist in the community. And I make it a point that we're not here to assist just veterans. We want to be there as community partners. It's about just being a part of a community, working together. I think it's important that we uh, focus on the things that we can all do to like, just bring one another to closer together, particularly in a world that's increasingly divided. Not let the things which would drive us apart do so in such a way that it destroys community. <laughs>